Well, hello. I've been expecting you. Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. And yes, the Caves and Crater update is finally here. And as you can see by the fusion reactor here, they've made a few changes. One of them just happens to be the fusion reactor is actually much bigger now. And when I saw the patch notes, I was starting to get a little worried thinking that maybe it was going to be an outdoor, outdoor thing, but fortunately, it's okay. Uh, a few things have been added to the game. Uh, one of them just happens to be over the progress screen here. Uh, still a little laggy. Um, I do plan on doing another playthrough uh, after this. It was uh, hinted at me, and I had already thought about doing that. And just because now that I know what I'm doing, I can uh, plan things a little better so I don't have to listen to this all day. Uh, one of the things they did actually add to the game, they, this wasn't actually there before, but if you go to uh, gameplay, no, oh, where was it? Uh, graphics. Screen shake intensity. You can actually adjust how much the screen shakes during the meteor showers. We're going to leave it at that. Uh, the super alloy sh meteor storms, uh, apparently the uh, super alloy stays a little bit longer, so it's going to be a little easier to get to and uh, get more of. But anyways, uh, one of the first things they've actually added is uh, near the end here. The two things, actually. Uh, i got to grab some water. Uh, they now have a super alloy rod, which is... Uh, I checked the recipe already. It's one aluminum and eight super alloy. And this is actually a new crafting item that we need for things like uh, a tier two ore extractor. And we also have a teleporter now, which allows us to teleport from one place to another. But as you can see, the cost on that for power is extremely high. In uh, here, I don't think there has been anything else unlocked. Um, one of the other things that we do not have now is there is now a tier 2 light chip, which is good. There's also a couple more new rockets too. Um, let me grab my grab some water and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, yeah, so there's, um, there's a couple new rockets too. There's a, a tier 3 GPS uh, rocket and there's also um, a map information rocket. And this, apparently what that one does is uh, provides points of interest on the map. So let's actually take two chips see if I can get anything out of this. Okay, there's a torch tier two, which was already unlocked that in there already. Early access, yada, yada, yada. Map information's rocket. So there's that. And I guess I have to do the GPS one too. Um, grab. I think there's five new items. I'm gonna grab them all anyways and see what else needs to be unlocked. There's a tier three GPS satellite. And I think that's it. That's it. So they've made a change to the mapping screen too. The mapping screen, as you can now see, has a zoom level. It also shows beacons on the map. And you can zoom out to, this would be the tier two. And then I can go all the way down to the tier three. I'm guessing, I'm gonna guess that that's gonna actually provide a large area of the map, more or less the whole map. Um, I have set up, set up a few more of these mapping screens. You don't actually need to build, launch separate rockets. You just place uh, the mapping screen in a different location. It just gives you an aerial view around that screen. Uh, regarding other things, I do have a few things on me. Let me put these chips away because I don't need them for a while until the next update. Uh, they have added some new locations. Uh, a couple of new biomes, a couple of new caves. And this cave is actually the one I was waiting for. And, it's actually what you saw in the little intro there. But in behind here, there's another cave opening. This takes us up into the Zeolite Cave. And I know I knew this was here, and I haven't taken anything out of, it, out of here. But there's another rocket engine, and fertilizer, super alloy, all that stuff. Um, what I should do, I was going to do it anyway, I just forgot. Let's actually go ahead and make that Tier 2 light. Um, I need some sulfur, so we'll run over here. Uh, but apparently there's a very, a very large map expansion. Apparently there's something just over by the dust fall there. Um, they added some ex accessibility options now too. So if I come up this chest, I just want to take the sulfur out. Uh, uh, con the control key is basically a universal accessibility. So I hold control and I just click the sulfur. It just takes the sulfur out. So we made inventory management a little bit better. So it's not bad. Nice little quality of life changes. But it still doesn't filter out all the stuff that I don't really need but you know it's going to make super alloy out of it right 
Anyways, you go up here, um, they apparently increased uh, the mining speed of the tier 2 ore extractor, so that's always really good too. They've done some performance adjustments. Uh, as you can see, it's less laggy around here, and they've apparently fixed it with the rain too. It doesn't rain underwater anymore either. Alright, so what do I need for this tier 2 light? Just need the chip and magnesium. Okay, uh, there's a the chip and magnesium. Alright, so now we can get a better light, and I don't know how bright this is. I haven't actually done anything in the new update yet, because I was waiting for the video. Oh, that's much brighter. Let's go check it out. Off we go. Uh, also, too, regarding vitals, uh, apparently that was a bug, and they fixed it. So, you can't just log out and log back in to refill your hunger and thirst. So, that's all been fixed. That's a little bit brighter. But nice and bright up here. I haven't explored, but it looks like there might be a few things in here I might want to check out. But before we go explore, let's go ahead and drop down a miner, shall we? Oh, I gotta make the, little, the super alloy rod. Wow, it's called an alloy rod. I like the crystals, though. It's a nice little natural lighting. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, yeah. This is where the teleporter comes in handy, right? But I wanted a tier 17 jetpack. Okay, so we need, uh... Let's actually put that sulfur away, do that, and then go... Uh, this, and then turn that light off, because it's absolutely bright. I gotta put one of those back. And get aluminum. Okay. Uh, apparently they adjusted the cost of this thing too. I have no idea what that is, but there you go. There's a recipe for the super alloy rod, and that's going to be uh, things needed. Uh, that's actually part of this crafting recipe now. So it's three osmium, super alloy rod, and two iridium rod. Um, the, also the pulsar quartz crystals, you know, the purple crystals, they're no longer craftable, and they made it, made it like that because now that they have the zeolite gave that uh, there is more reason to explore for a pulsar quartz or, yeah pulsar quartz crystal cave so that's going to be a rare resource you can only mine it you can't actually craft it and yeah so that's going to be big changes they also did a few things with the, the building mechanism too if i go ahead and build this normally i just play build and that would be it if i hold control though if i have resources click oh uh, I mean, I can show. Hold. I don't have anything on me. I can show you. I probably find some iron. But anyways, uh, if you hold control when you go and build something, it just keeps that uh, thing you're building on. So if you're building foundations or walls or uh, living compartments, as long as you're holding control, then you don't have to don't have to go back into the menu to build another one and another one and another one. It stays there. There we go. Zeolite. All right. Let's go explore quickly before I run out of oxygen. I'm gonna leave the other seal light alone for now. Uh, apparently, there's another golden chest too. No idea where it is. Ooh. Where does this go? Uh, I've been here. Oh, look at that! We're up here. That's cool. So, yeah, this must be the arches. This is one of the new biomes we were talking about. Interesting. Let's see what else we got up here. I don't have any oxygen on me, do I? Uh, no, I don't. Might have to cross some. Oh, there's a chest over here. Let's see if we can find some oxygen. There's a ship over there, too. I'm gonna go check that one out. Uh, all those good things, and all I, all I can really care about right now is some oxygen. Hmm. I'm gonna run back to the base and I'll be right back. I thought I'd bring you back for this. Uh, I'm at the base, I came out to get a little bit of water, get a little bit of food. I thought I'd show you this uh, another update they did. It's when you harvest the food, the seed actually stays in there now. So all you have to do is just harvest it and just stay. So it makes micromanagement a little less micromanagement. Anyways. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it occurred to me all I had to do was build a shelter, so I built a shelter here, and then I realized I didn't have any water or any food, so I had to run back anyways. But, uh, that was that clip you saw before. 
Well, let's go check this out. Uh, it occurs to me I probably should have a power cell with me on this one, but you never know. But let's go explore. Ooh, there's a chest over here. I don't think I've gone to this one. Cleaned out my inventory too, because I knew this was going to happen. Uh, don't need to see it. I'll take that. Still haven't found it. Really actually used all the fabric that I have, but I'll take it anyways. And uh, nothing else. We'll take a look over here. And then uh, we'll hop in the ship. I don't know if it's just my imagination, but it seems like my oxygen seems to be depleting a little bit faster than normal. Then mind you, I didn't actually hop in here before. I went to go look around. But, hop in, get a fresh top up. And let's go explore. What do we have here? Oh, there's a heater in there. Okay, well, obviously that's not the way I gotta go. Where is the entrance to this thing? In the front? Oh, I'm going to actually fit inside. And that light comes in handy now. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to look around see if I can find anything interesting and I'll bring you back if I do. Well, so far it doesn't seem to be too much. It's just a lot of stuff like this. Like, there is more loot than I know what to do with. I don't know what I have the iron for. I'll probably dump the fabric. Don't need the seeds. Don't really... And super alloy we get. Aluminum. Could probably use. Found like four chests like this. But this looks like the containers that we find in the, the spike biome there. And there's been like all these turrets or something everywhere. So far it doesn't look like anything. And this is why I brought oxygen. Because I knew... I wasn't going to get out of here in time. But anyway, I'm going to keep looking and see if I can find anything. Okay, I didn't find too much, but I figured before we leave, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and craft the compass chip first. And put a mapping screen down. Let's actually have a look at this area that we're in. But this is where we're at right now. Uh, a little bit thirsty. Uh, looks like there might be something over here. I'm not 100% sure. There isn't too much around here. There might be a cave or something. But other than that, that's about it. And I think this is the, the balcony, because I see something here. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go venturing around a little bit. Maybe go check and see if there's anything here, which doesn't look like it. But I'll bring you back if I find anything good. And look, that's where we are. This is where I think I first started finding the zeolite. Uh, that's where the bunker is down there. And then right over there is going to be the big ship. Can't really see it from here. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that. Uh, back to the exploring. Okay, well I didn't find too much else, but... I heard there was supposed to be something around here. I think there was actually supposed to be something like in behind the dust cloud. Not 100% sure though. Let's have a look. There's something here. I have no idea what this is. The rock formation by the looks of it. And, and then this might be the cave. Or something. Nope, that's not it. I did hear of something. I know there was a cave here. I just I've only been in there like once or twice and it was Osmium. Oh wait, that's right. It wasn't an actual cave cave. It was just that, but I heard there was something else over here in this area. Big rock in my head. Go on. It's a shame you can't see much else. And Let's see, where am I? That's a cool look around. Oh! Oh, that was nothing. Hmm. There was something around here. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, well, I'm not too sure, but I think this might be it. This is actually a little area above the falls there. 
I sort of cheated with the jetpack and flew up. Uh, let's see what we have over here. I was over on the other side, I saw this little green patch. I thought I'd go investigate. I think that's all this is, it's just like a, a viewing point. What is that? No, oh, it's a cave or something. Uh, it's getting dark, but nice view of the ship up here. And I was worried about that. <laughs> Some of the rocks, they don't have uh, hitboxes. Or collision meshes, like that one. Oh! And I'm here. Well, I guess we're here now. That's some fast travel right there. It's a good thing I have these pods located everywhere. Alright, I'm gonna refresh on the oxygen and bring you back and then we'll look around a little bit more so we can find that crater. Well, that's new. Just had one of those wait a minute moments. Oh yeah, this was not here before. This must be part of the update. So this has got to be the balcony. Let's go check it out. See what's up there. Oh, cool. Yeah, I saw a screenshot of this. There's apparently uh, some plants that are growing. Maybe you know, actually anything I can harvest? You're just a plant. You're just a plant. This is interesting. Very cool. Zeal light everywhere. Staircase and a crate. An empty crate. Someone was here before me. Oh, there we go. I like that. That's cool. Now, is there anything else here? Is this, this just it? Oh, I think there's more. Yes, that's why I brought food with me. Because I knew I was going to go exploring. Hmm. It's a nice, neat, neat little area. Be nice if you could actually pick up these plants, or unless these are the plants that have been growing in the seed spraying rocket. Something's telling me there's got to be something around here, though. Aha! I'll take that, 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 and take the osmium. I'm not using my accessibility key. Shame on me. Anyway. Okay, well, that's uh, kind of cool. But what I was going to do as I was flying by, by here is I was going to head back to the base. Can I get back down? Excuse me. I did click on that. But, yeah. I was going to go back to the base and build that GPS rocket. Or the, the, the other two rockets, I should say. The GPS Tier 3 and the map's information. Because the map's information is supposed to show points of interest. So, we'll check that out. Uh, surprisingly, I can still walk. Thank God I have a jetpack. But I will return. Okay, I should be ready. And I will tell you, these are actually fairly expensive rockets. Uh, especially the, uh, what was it, the Tier 2? Yeah, the 2. Oh, the Tier 3. Two microchips. Uh, each one of those is two aluminum each, plus one aluminum in the super alloy rod, so that is an expensive one. It's launched off into the atmosphere. Watch it blow up seconds after it leaves, leaves the launch pad. I wonder if there's ever going to be audio for that, or if it's supposed to be that way. Okay, there's that one, and now for the... Digital ma the map information screen rocket. Which one looks completely different. It actually looks like a satellite. And... That one was leaning a little funny. <laughs> anyway. It should be instantaneous. It's like me going back up the stairs. And, let's see what we got on the screen here. Oh, interesting. A little cheat sheet. Explains why it's so expensive. So we got the zeolite here. Uh, we have that. Oh, and we have that. So I can see quite a bit. So there's uranium over here. 
And we got an Osmium cave over here. I knew about that. And there's that one over here. Cool. And uh, there's the crater. And they were saying it was going to be hard to find. What is that? Hmm. We got some exploring to do, I think. Let's see, if I'm here, how would I get there? Through the Iridium Cave. No, because that one's over there. Wait, is that what? That wasn't where I was at before, where was, was it? No, that was over here, I think. Huh, interesting. I'm gonna uh, have to work my way there and I'll bring you back if I find it. Okay, that wasn't. A, oh. Oh, it actually wasn't that hard. I just went to the zeolite cave because I knew that it was going to be near the zeolite and I just kept sticking to the left. I found a little branch that went off and here I am. And there's a big smoldering rock there. I'm sorry. I always get curious. I like to explore. You never know what kind of secrets you're going to be hiding. I think there was uh, some structures over there. I think you can actually see them. But let's go have a look. Now apparently this is actually a starting area that you can start in. Oh. I have no idea if that's going to do anything to me. Looks like, it looks like your standard area. Now what is this? going to hurt me? Okay, always got to do it for science, but I think it was up on this side here, let's go see if we can find someone, I think I saw a crate over here, go have a little peek, and I love this jetpack, it allows you to climb walls, solar panels, oh hello, uh, I might have to build a shelter, let me see if we can find some supplies, I'll be right back, okay, I'm ready, uh, I had to use up my last bottle of oxygen, but here we are. Let's have a look, see what we have down here. Uh, of course, always check the walls. You never know when someone's going to be hidden. Also make sure not to take out the ladders, so I can actually get out. Okay, what secrets are you hiding besides the broken door? And nothing. Must be important if I'm going through two sets of broken doors. And... Working on jetpacks, oxygen cells, and cool. It's the first time I've ever actually seen these just laying around. Oh, oxygen. Oh, actually, I'll take that. I'm gonna get lost in here. I know that. Secrets are among us. Okay, nothing in there. Do, do, do. I saw something. Where was it? Alright, there's a crate in there somewhere. Oh wow, this is a, like an actual maze. Ooh. Hmm. Now oh, I can get through, okay. That's why they give you oxygen, oxygen, oxygen canisters. I know what I'm doing. Sometimes. Oh my god, this keeps on going. Oh god. I definitely need some more supplies. Uh, hmm. Nothing I can eat in there. Or there. Uh, can't even get rid of the old iron that I'm picking up. Oh, I'm so gonna get lost. Wow, it's just like everywhere. What's this? Uh, sent message attempts. And nothing in there, of course. Well, lots of stuff, but stuff that's not going to keep me alive right now. Wow, just keeps on going. And I think I was already here. Yes, I was. Anyway, I'm going to save you my... Aimless. You know what I mean. I'll, I'll bring you back if I find anything good. But, no, 
just a little letter I found here. I'm in the bottom floor right now. What if I stay here forever? Not enough ice to drink, and my crops are getting bigger and bigger. Successfully set up an energy source with a few solar panels. And for now, at least, I have finally a bit of comfort. Could I spend all my life by myself? Do, I, do you need company to live? Will you die alone? There's something really strange about this planet. I can't see what it is, but there, the more time I spend here, the more I want to stay. Nonsense. Sounds like utopia. Anyway. I uh, found a quartz. I found another effigy. And nothing in there. And let's see what else I can find. Uh, don't really need anything here. Take the furniture. That's where I came out. And I guess that's it. No fake walls. Okay. And yeah. I think that was it. Now I'm going to do one more final browse through and I'll bring you back. Okay. So I decided to come back up to the ring here and check the map that I have here and see what we have. And nothing's really showing up. I know, like I said, I know there's supposed to be a pulse or a quartz cave. I don't know if it's actually going to show up on this, but. Gives you an idea where it is, like what's here. Like, just, there's an osmium over there. There's another one over here. I believe this is the spike biome because that's my base over there. Uh, so uranium here, sulfur over here. But nothing of too much interest. Be nice if you could actually pan the camera, or pan the image around when you're zoomed in like that. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I wanna start working down my my way down here and see if I had another. Uh, screen set up. If not, I'll set one up and we'll see if we can find this cave. Okay, well, I've been, I think, just about everywhere I can look. I've checked over here, I've checked over in the ring, I've checked in the ice bike biome, we've checked around uh, the crater, but I don't think it's going to be anything around there. So clearly, it's not something labeled, most likely. I should actually check in there where the super alloy mine is, where that big so called door is. I know about the uranium cave, I think that's the one that's underwater. water. Uh, but let's go head down to uh, this one over here. I'm sure I'm going the right way. This is where the super alloy cave is. Got the miners set up over there too. Hmm. Oh yeah, the arches. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so far, done like in the update. We're still very early though. Like, we're not even only 0.4. But let's go check in here. I know in the back, where is that? What is it? Yeah. Still closed off. A door. Oh, there's an achievement for it now, so. <laughs> Speculation is correct. It is a door. Hmm. Oh, I think I might have to... Oh. Did I make that thing already? I did. Okay, I was going to take it with me. Well, I think I'm going to have to go exploring for it. I don't know where it's going to be. I'm sure somebody knows, but uh, I'll probably find out before anyone replies to that. And hoping I do. I'm trying to think where else it would be. I think I've... I think I've covered just about the entire area of the map. I actually thought about uh, trying to Photoshop everything together and try to get like a general idea of what's what and where. I'm wondering if it's actually branched off in here. This is the other super alloy mine. Let's pop in here and get some oxygen. Actually, was this a super alloy mine? No, I don't think it was. It was something though. Uh, now the question is, where was the opening? There it is. Oh yeah, again, it was this, but I don't always gotta check, because you never know when something's gonna open up, branch off to the side, or maybe a hidden wall, because that seems to be a thing now. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Okay, well, uh, let me do a little more looking around, I'll bring you back, and we'll probably end up the end of the episode here. I would like to get into the teleporter, but for the time being, I have no way to make it. I can't actually make those crystals anymore. So, uh, yeah, 
Uh, Sojourn. Aha. Uh -huh. I found something. I was looking at the map and I found a... I seen like another structure. So I thought I'd come up here and check it out and see what it was. It's apparently some sort of cave. And... <gasps> Pulsar Quartz. So this is the actual cave. Yeah, because I was, I was like looking around. I was like, I knew about the bunker. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get lost in here very easy. But definitely have to get the miner down here, so... Uh, maybe what I'll do... I'll try to get out of here alive, and I'll bring you back, and we'll see if we can get a miner set up. And actually... Get some of this stuff. Oh, God, I thought I was gonna get lost. Yeah, see if we can get a couple of teleporters set up. Alright, well, I... I was having trouble finding a place to put, actually put the miner, but I did find two more pieces, two more crystals, so that gives a total of four. And I do believe I have enough power. We can actually go ahead and make two teleporters. Oh, I need the super alloy rod. I gotta make another, another one of those. Well, two more, actually, because I gotta uh, make up some inventory space. Uh, let me get that stuff together. But anyways, I gotta uh, make two of them, one for going there, one for going back, and also one for the miner, if I can find a place to put it. Okay, I'm back. Now, I have everything on me to build uh, two teleporters and the miner. Uh, the question I have about the teleporters is, does this have to be inside? If it does, I need to find some supplies for it. Oh, perfect. Uh, let's actually just deconstruct that. That was actually one of the things that they added to as well, is there's a directional arrow now. There's something about holding control. Oh, yeah. So, rotating does incremental like so, but holding control does snaps to a 90 degree angle. So, we have that. Now, what are we doing here? Ah. So, it's like, um, waste on Minecraft. All right. Well, let's, uh, fly back and put the other one in. Fortunately, it's not that far away. Like, it's actually surprisingly easy to get here. Love the little network of caves and tunnels that act like a suburban subway with a jetpack, of course. But it's not that quick, so yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, now the question is can I build this inside? Oh, oh okay, I can't. I was gonna say, what? I can't? Now the question is, is where do I put it? Right there in my way is perfect. Actually, I'm wondering. Uh, fit in here. I rarely go down here anyways. And there we go. Cool. Even love the effect. Now can I rename it? That would be an interesting idea, but it doesn't look like it. it looks like it just goes off of in-game coordinates. Nice model though. I like it. I love the effect. That's cool. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to call this one here. Uh, maybe we'll, between now and next time I see, I'll probably try to have, get that minor place down. And we'll go from there. Uh, but, uh, you know what? Yeah, I might go AFK for a few minutes and see if we can hit insect level before I leave. So, I'll be, I'll be back. I'm just looking at the map right now. I had a bit of an osmium shower, but... Uh, this is the, the cave itself. So when we come out of here, we come out of the Zeolite cave and it comes out here. And that's where the... Pulse of Records cave is. Now here, I don't know what that is. Uh, one thing I did notice when I was exploring that cave a little bit is that it branched off into an Osmium cave. But I don't see any Osmium around here except for over here. So I'm wondering if maybe there's more to that cave. Hmm. Almost worth investigating. I might have to bring some supplies with me. So let's go do that while we while we wait for insect level at one uh, TTI. And off we go. Just like so. I'm worried about the meteor shards because I know, I know that meteors actually do follow you. All right. So I have some water on me. I have some oxygen, and I have some food. So at least I can explore this and not have to fret right away. And I forgot to stop at the cave and pick up some osmium, but I know there's some osmium in here eventually, somewhere. So easy to get lost in caves like this. 
There's so many different branches and all that stuff. So yeah, I saw this and it's like, oh yeah, we're getting into pulsar quartz. And no, it's uh, Osmium Sulfur Cave and I have absolutely no idea where this goes. Let's actually check this one out. Where do you go? Oh, the arches. Okay. Interesting. Now, what I want to know is why can't I place this down? Except for the fact that I don't have osmium. As I was saying, why can't I place this down? Not let me place it anywhere. Hmm. Well, now that I can uh, breathe, I do have enough of this, right? Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can find a place to put this, so I'll be right back. I just head on my way back, and I'm flying by this, and I just catch it out of the corner. I, I thought there was somebody standing there, like a robot or something. I heard it actually stopped. Okay, anyway, I am back. So I did look around that cave a few times. I could not find any place to put the miner down, and I don't know why, but I could not find my way out of the cave. I could not get myself back into the zeolite. I'm gonna quickly check this out because I swear to God it sealed off on me or something. As I kept going, the only path I could possibly see, and it kept leading to a dead end. I'm kind of curious about that. Is it the developers trolling us or something? Oh, wait, no, I guess it wouldn't. This will take me up to the, the crater. She's uh, usually teleport. Let's just be smart about this. Okay, let's try this again. So I went in here. For some reason, I couldn't find my way back here. I was always in back up in the, the Osmium area. And when I tried to come back this way, I always end up in the area where that chest was. Which looks bit, like oddly familiar to this area here. So I don't know where I was getting lost. No clue. You know, it got me here and I was trying to get back out. But for some reason, I wasn't actually finding my way out. You know, I did that and I did this and then back down here and it got me here. Ah! Taking it wrong. See what I mean? I swear to God, I'm being trolled. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. Anyway, I'm sure I'm missing something, but, you know, that's me. I can always explore that later. Uh, what I will probably do is next time I go back there is I'll take uh, some supplies with me and build some lamps around so I can at least see and maybe get some markers of where I'm supposed to go. But until then, I think this would be a good place to call it. Uh, we are cutting it pretty close here. That was actually good timing on that. What I'll do is have something to eat and I'll bring it right back. Okay, we are almost there. I can tell it's going to be a good video too because I've had a cu cup of coffee sitting on the burner for the last two hours and I'm going to need to it, but I keep forgetting. But insect level. Uh, I don't know when the insects are supposed to be in implemented. Probably the next uh, next uh, update or something because there really is no icon for it. Same with the fish. But here we are. We have passed one TTI. No idea what that means, but making a world a greener place, that's for sure. But yeah, so anyways, uh, I think, like I said, between now and the next episode, I'll probably do a little bit of exploring here, try to figure out where I'm getting lost here, and then maybe see what that's all about. I think that might be the exit to the other cave. Maybe what I'm seeing is ice that's frozen over. Because if I go at the back end of the cave where the osmium is, it takes me up over here. So if I get lost in here, I just go over here, cut down, and cut through back to the sulfur area, and come back home. But uh, with that, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.